honestly, it's a lot of work. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Daniela. So today I'm gonna be making a video that I think is much needed on YouTube, at least for the UK. There are definitely a lot of these videos between the US and Canada, which are awesome and have helped me so much. Me doing my research when I was deciding what I want on my baby registry and just for my baby in general. But I did have the hardest time finding any of these videos in relation to the UK and where you can get things because a lot of the items mentioned and the videos from Canada or the US are not available in the UK or are just stupid expensive to get them over here. So I honestly did so much research and kind of went to the ends of the internet to find these items. So I really hope that this video for you can be kind of like a one-stop shop or a cheat code, just so you do not have to go through all that I did to find these items. And I hope that this can just save you a lot of time. I also am aware that doing baby registries in the UK is really not a thing, at least from what I've experienced and the people who I've spoken to. I even remember when I first moved here, I went to a really common baby shop called Mamas and Papas and I asked to register there and they were almost a bit confused but then after a while they're like oh oh yeah okay I think I know what you're talking about but it was obvious that it wasn't a common thing so just to cover all my bases if you are watching this and have no clue what a baby registry is basically it's exactly like a wedding registry it's just a list that you share with friends and family of things that you have found online or in stores that you would like for your baby so it's not so much a list of like buy me this but a lot of times friends and family want to get you something for the baby. So it's just nice to have because a lot of times people want to buy you things that they know you'll really love and use. But it's basically just a guideline of things that people can follow if they want to or if they don't. But ultimately the baby registry is generally for the baby shower. So for example, I was planning on having a baby shower in person in May, but obviously I could not do that due to the pandemic. But I had so many fun ideas like doing a diaper raffle or even having people bring instead of cards little baby books that they would write nice messages in for the baby as they grow up. But anyways, as with many things during the pandemic, I had to get a little creative with it. So what I ended up doing is creating a registry and I think what I'm gonna do towards the end is either doing a big kind of Zoom video call with everyone, like an online virtual baby shower. It might be kind of difficult with the different time zones and all of that. So I also might just do individual FaceTime calls or I might just send photos of the baby in or with whatever the person has purchased for the baby just as a way to show them like we use this and we are so appreciative of you going out of your way to get us something especially during these times. So as I mentioned I am aware that baby registries are really not too common in the UK so one I might have just sparked a cool new idea for you and you might want to do something like a baby registry but even if you don't want to do a registry I think this video can be super helpful because I have all the products listed that I think are baby must-haves. And three, I think if you make a registry, even if you don't plan on sharing it with anyone, it's honestly just a nice, helpful organization tool because it's everything that you want listed out and you can keep track of what you've purchased and what you haven't and it has the nice little pictures. So I think it'd be nice just for that as well if you want, if you're like me and a visual person. Anyways, enough rambling. But before we get into it, as you can probably see, I've just recently started this YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and and turn the little notification bell on because truly every subscriber, every like means so much. It really helps grow my channel and helps me keep doing these videos. So please, if you haven't yet, make sure you do that and join the family. Also, if you don't know, I am going to be a first time mom. So by no means am I saying I know everything. I just know how much research I've done and people's opinions I've looked at. And this is what I've came up with. So I really hope it can help you. Okay, so now that I've explained all of that, I'm just gonna to do a quick little screen share with you guys. So this is what our registry looks like if you come on as a guest. As you can see, we've registered with myregistry.com. You can see both of our names here and when our baby is due. You are able to make your shipping information, like your address, public, but we decided not to. So if people want it, they can just request shipping info. We see who is requesting it and then we can choose to share it or not. So then it just has the list of gifts that we have on our registry. And as you can see, for example, 
the gray ones here, you can see that it's purchased, and then the green ones are still available to buy. So like I've mentioned, it's literally just a list of things that you have seen in different stores. And this is why I like this website as well, is that you can link from any different stores. As you can see, most of my things are from Amazon and you can create registries purely on Amazon, but I did like having the option that, for example, from Mamas and Papas, I could add that to this registry as well. So you can link any store you want. So that was my registry. As you can see, there are many different pictures and items on there. I've actually broken it up into 10 different subcategories. So if I keep looking down or at the side, it's at my notes, sorry. So the 10 different categories that I've broken it up to is bathing, bedding, clothing, diapering, feeding, gift cards, health and safety, nursery furniture and gear, playtime and travel. So we'll go into those individually and I'll let you know the products that I've chosen and that I think are good after the research that I've done for each category. Also, I will have as many items as I possibly can linked down below in my description box if you like something and wanna know where to get it. If something is out of stock, I would just kinda keep the link in your back pocket and keep checking up on it because honestly, I feel like right now everyone is pregnant and looking for things. So, so many things that I was looking for were out of stock and I just had to continuously check in. I do not profit from it at all. Hopefully just helping you guys if you were looking for things for your baby or need some ideas. So to start before actually getting into any categories, as you might have noticed in the beginning of my registry, I do have the cash gift option. So this option comes in handy in general because some people just prefer to give cash rather than a specific item. They'd rather just give you cash and you spend it on whatever item that you choose. That's always nice to have just as an option for people. But for me specifically, this really really came in handy because most of my family is in Canada. So the exchange rate between Canadian dollars to pounds in England is crazy. A lot of the items are basically double the price here. So instead of spending double the price on certain items, they could just send cash if they wanted to, whatever amount. All right, so we're gonna start with bathing. So the first thing I have here are just some washcloths. I found these on Amazon. I think they're called hmm like I'm not sure, but I will link them down below. They have some great reviews on them. Pretty simple product, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth about that. I then have this little thermometer. It's called the New Baby Safe Floating Bath Thermometer, and it's a little giraffe. And I know this is definitely not essential. Like even my mom was saying, like you don't need that. But I know for me, it'll just make me feel more at ease, especially at first. Even if I just use it for the first week, it's about three pounds. So I was like, if it makes me feel more at ease, just to know that the bath water is at the right temperature, then why not? I also found a two set pair of just hooded bath towels. You can really find these anywhere, but I thought they were a good price and had good reviews as well. They are by the brand Dandelion Clothing. I also heard really good things about this Tommy Tippy newborn swaddle. I found it on Amazon. So for example, this option here is the same price as the two hooded towels pretty much. But I thought why not have a couple different options just to see what we like. And then lastly, for the whole towel situation, I had to put this on. It's a little giraffe towel. It's by the brand OK. Sackety. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's again on Amazon. Just so cute and I think they're really good for a little photo opportunity. So again, not an essential, but was definitely on my registry. Then for some bath toys, I know they obviously can't use them right away, but I found this on Amazon. They're the Munchkin floating farm animal themed toys. So they're just like the little squirt toys. These are fairly inexpensive and I thought it was just something good to have on the registry because they will definitely come in handy later. I did also get this little starter kit just of shampoos. This is the company Child's Farm just from Boots. This was like a free little gift so I know you don't need much when they're newborn so we're gonna start out with this and see how we like it. And then lastly for bathing we have the actual tub. We ended up deciding on the Fisher Price 4-in-1 sling and seat tub. So even though this product is more expensive than just your average little tub, I liked how it grows with your baby and I feel like overall you could possibly save money with it as well because they do have 
have the little sling to begin with and then it goes on to different stages this specific one comes with I think it's little orange bath toy but then also this blue bottle that can help you disperse the water over them sorry my battery just died okay now to bed it okay so this here is called the Cali sleep baby nest I was actually gifted this which was so nice of the company I've heard nothing but good reviews about this product so I will make sure to link that down below but basically it's just a nest and it comes in here as well with like a blanket and a little baby pillow too which is really cute but these are really good apparently for them to just have a place to chill out and take a nap you need to make sure you're monitoring them though if they're napping in it because you don't want to just leave them in it in case they roll over and can't breathe but I've honestly heard nothing but good things about this product for example I know a lot of women also like if they're doing their makeup or something they can just have their baby on the floor just relaxing and be able to keep an eye on them as well while they're still contained so a lot of people swear by these I also have baby blankets and sheets on my registry as well but I'm not really gonna get into the specifics of those because they're honestly just basic blankets like I have one cellular blanket so just ones with holes in it and then one thicker blanket again none of these will be in the crib or a cot which they call it in the UK which I have learned but just more for when we're around the baby or in the car seat stuff like that and again with the sheets nothing too special I would just get a set or two of whatever ones that you like with whatever patterns you like okay so now for the crib or cot mattress I wanted to make sure that we got a really good mattress that was very breathable this is definitely more of an investment piece we ended up getting the little green sheep natural twist cot bed mattress so this is the one in size 140 by 70 the reason that I was okay with spending a lot more money on the mattress was because the crib that we purchased actually transformed into a toddler bed so I thought that getting a mattress that is gonna last us a long time was well worth the money especially because if you think about it in the long run you're probably saving money and then just with this we did purchase from the same company the little green sheep organic waterproof cot bed mattress protector as well we also purchased this pillow so we just got this at boots which is a store in the UK and it just has this little dent in here so this is called the baby move love nest original head support pillow this is just good for avoiding flat head on babies because they're spending so much time lying down on their head the back can get flat and then also in the womb I heard that they can get kinks in their neck and these pillows help sort that out but again do not leave this alone in the crib or cot with a baby only use these when you are supervising okay now getting into the exciting stuff the clothing I'll start with something very cute so this item is actually from a website called style my kid I found them on Instagram because I was having a very tough time again in the UK I don't know why but finding like little swaddle sets with a matching hat anyway so as I said this company is called style my kid and this is the Lulu Joe bamboo hat and swaddle blanket and it's in black floral so this is the print and it's super soft and good quality so this is the swaddle here and then this is the hat and then it's so cute it comes with this little name tag as well and it says hello my name is so I thought this would be great for first photos in the hospital we just need to pick a name now <laughs> while we're speaking about swaddles I also just ordered a four pack on Amazon I saw some really good reviews on these and they were fairly inexpensive so these are by the company funky flamingo and they're all these white color they have different prints like there's these have flamingos on them there's ones with stars and different ones I'll again link them down below but I thought it was just good to to have some basics so now we are getting more into the territory that I was speaking about before where we have a lot of people who live in Canada or the States talking about how onesies or sleep suits with the zipper are the easiest which I completely agree and I feel like I love them and they also speak about magnetic ones which I don't even want to bother with because I had the hardest time finding anything with a zipper on it for some reason but I did find on Amazon these so these do have zippers on them 
and they're really cute too. So these came in a pack of three. There was this one, one with an elephant, one with gray stripes, and they're by the brand Simple Joys by Carter. But it was so hard for me, like even if you go in stores, to find anything with zippers on it. So if you want those, hopefully that link can help you. Um, I mean, for the UK, I think they're easy to find in Canada and the States, but I'm not sure why they're so difficult to find here. And another thing also was these gowns. So I found these on Amazon too. So they just, I know it looks really long, but they have this little kind of tie at the bottom. So anyways, these just make it easier for diaper changes in the middle of the night, especially while they're really young. This came in a three pack as well and is also by the brand Simple Joys by Carter. Hopefully that is very helpful to you guys. That would have definitely been very helpful for me to know. So a lot of these clothes I don't even have on my registry. Liam and I just went and got a bunch of clothes when we found out we were pregnant. So I found these sets online from H&M actually. H&M has super good baby clothes. I also love how they don't have a tag. They just have this on the shirt. These are perfect because they don't rub up on the baby, but you also still know what the size is. But the only thing about H&M is I've noticed that they're constantly going out of stock. So if you see something that you like, definitely jump on it. And I also love these styles of shirts. So this is like a kimono style. So basically if they have like poop explosions, which they will, I've heard, these are super good because you don't have to go over the head or anything. And it just makes for a really easy take off of the baby. So I got a bunch of these in the short sleeve for newborn and I think the H&M sizes is like two to four months instead of zero to three. But I got it in both those sizes and I also got the same kind of style in long sleeve. And next for pants, again, not on my registry. I think we just got these from, yeah, we got these from Tesco. It's basically like I don't know, Walmart or like, it's like a grocery store here. So I love these cause they're newborn and they have the little beaties. So you don't need to worry about socks because apparently babies lose their socks super easily. I really like these. These were inexpensive. I'm pretty sure they were actually having like a 50% off deal as well. So that was really nice. And then for the bigger sizes, well, zero to three, not huge. But again, these are from H&M and this came in a pack of two. I forget how much exactly they were, but like I said, pretty much everything from H&M is really, well priced so we do have a good amount of clothes I mean I don't think we went super overboard because then we just won't have to be doing laundry constantly we pretty much just kept to the basics we did get a couple outfits like these like I mean they're not very practical but they're cute I think it's just good to have a couple of cute outfits for when they're meeting people or just for photos and whatnot but really I would try to stay away from getting too many crazy outfits as hard as it is because I've heard they're pretty much just gonna be in their pajamas for the first while I also got this at Tesco so this is just one of those like sleep bags for baby what I've learned from all my research is that basically every baby is different some babies love to be swaddled with these types of swaddles just pretty much like the original I also do on my registry have the easy swaddles basically you can just like wrap it with velcro and then yeah I made sure to buy one of these as well I didn't want to buy too much of one thing because I really want to see what our baby likes and then go from there so I kind of wanted to get a little bit of everything to see what they like and cover all of our bases. This one was, again, this one was from Tesco as well. And I think it was part of that 50% off sale. So like I was saying, a lot of these things don't have to break the bank. I know there are definitely a lot of other choices as well. So just do your research and what you think you would like or your baby would like. And again, get to know your baby when they get there. That's what I'm going to be doing. We also just got packets of little socks and then mitts as well. And they kind of look the same. A lot of people are saying you honestly you don't have to worry about mitts and they just end up using socks but we'll see what we end up liking but I would just get a couple packs of those to cover your bases next going into diapering so we actually you can probably see behind me my husband's dad built us this change table so we're gonna have a change table here in our room and then we also are going to have a change table in the nursery which is not finished yet but we are getting there also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a nursery tour once it's all finished but the next Next item on my registry is just a little diaper caddy. It's by the brand Doc Home. Again, this is from Amazon. It's a large baby diaper caddy organizer. I really like the colors. It goes with our theme. And I've heard that these caddies are just really handy to have because you can bring them upstairs, downstairs, wherever you're going. And of course, you'll need lots of diapers or nappies. We are just doing the disposable diapers. So we have sizes one through three on our registry, but you can find them anywhere and see what works for your baby because again, every baby is different. Okay, so for a diaper pail, 
sale, we ended up deciding on the Ubi. This is supposed to be like a money saving disposable bin. It is more expensive than your average diaper genie or whatnot, but where you're saving the money is that you can use any normal garbage bag. You don't need the specific diaper genie replacements. This is made out of steel and that's how it keeps the smell in. So fingers crossed that that works. I'll let you guys know how I like it once baby is here, but that's what we've settled on. And I have heard really good things about this product. So hopefully that all homes true. Another pricier item that we went with is the Bumbo changing pad. This is what I would say would be the UK's version of the peanut or Kikaru changer for the States or Canada. And I just love that it's so easy to clean. You don't need to worry about any fabric, sheets, any laundry whatsoever. So that was so worth it to me because I know we'll be doing lots of changes and I think that I'll just be thanking myself in the long run. Next up for diaper cream, you can really find this anywhere. We just got this Bepanthin. Bepanthin? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Anyways, this is everywhere. So we got this and then we also got this pseudo cream as well. It just looks like this. Some people like one or the other, but then other people I've seen also use them in different situations. So again, we're going to wait for baby's arrival and see what works for us and the baby's skin. And then definitely a fan favorite would be water wipes. Again, we got these just like at Boots. You can get them anywhere. We got a pretty big box of these. I think like of 20. I've really not heard anything bad about these products whatsoever. Maybe the price a little bit. It can be a little expensive, but in the beginning, I've heard these are the best things to use because it's 99.9% .9 water and just really nice on baby skin. So this is what we plan on using straight from the beginning. So now moving into feeding, I found some bibs that are just silicone bibs, but these ones had literally a five-star review. This is by the company Nature Bond, and they're just waterproof silicone bibs. Again, they don't need these till they're older, but I've heard it comes sooner than you think, so I thought I'd just have it in the registry so I'd be prepared. For bibs, I found this seven piece set on Amazon, and it is by the brand Little Lucky Baby. These have amazing reviews on them, and they're inexpensive, so those were definitely put on my registry. And again, on Amazon, I found these Burt Claws as well. They're a six pack by the company Humpy Cubs. They have a five star rating, Everyone seems to rave about them, love them. So I'm sure they will not disappoint. Next, I'd say this was a controversial item perhaps, but some people love them. Some people say they're not good. But for me, I really think that this would be perfect for my lifestyle. They are very expensive, but again, this would definitely be an investment piece. And that is the LV breast pump. For example, for two of these on their website currently, it says that it is 449 pounds. Ow. However, for our lifestyle that involves a lot of traveling, I think it would be very nice for me and just the kind of person I am as well. I want to be able to speak to people and have conversations as I'm pumping and I hear you can do that with these. I don't want to be in a room locked alone pumping. I just like that these don't have wires, anything like that. You can stick them in your bra and go about your business. Again, this is definitely not an essential, but it is something that I thought would make a positive impact on my breastfeeding journey. For bottles, I ended up choosing these Nuke Nook. Again, pronunciation, not exactly sure, but it's just like a starter kit, so it comes with a little brush. It came out, but a soother. And then two smaller bottles and two larger bottles. I've heard really good things about these specific bottles, but again, bottles, I think is like my number one thing that I've heard don't get too many of because you seriously will not know what your baby likes until they get here. We also do have this man bottle. I just got this from Boots actually. It was like a little free gift for parents with their advantage card and it also came with this little soother or dummy, whatever you want to call it. These again have different nipples or teeth than the other bottles obviously. So we'll see what baby likes and then go from there. We might have to get just completely other bottles but hopefully they're nice and simple but stay tuned. To go with that, something I originally didn't even think of was a sterilizer. So this is the same brand as the bottles. It's a bottle sterilizer. Liam's parents were telling us that we should definitely get one of these. It would make life a lot easier. So taking in some wise opinions. Going along with breastfeeding as well, I also have the Haka on my registry. So it's basically just like a suction cup that you put on your boobs. So if you're feeding on one side, whatever milk would usually just be lost, this cup collects. It's really inexpensive. And I think it's just good to have that to collect it all, especially for middle of the night feeds, stuff like that. If you don't want to be pumping or just letting it go. And speaking of letting it go, I also do have the Lansano breast pad. So this comes in a pack of 60, but I'm pretty sure that's 60 individual ones. So like 30 per breast 
I also have the Lantano breast milk storage bag. That's pretty self-explanatory, but again, I've heard really good things about those specific bags. And going along with Lantano, I also got their nipple cream as well. Apparently that stuff works like magic, and that is somewhere we will want magic. Okay, now quickly just going into gift cards. Pretty self-explanatory. I think gift cards are a great thing. The only gift card option we put on ours was for Amazon, but honestly, for any store, it would be great. You know the stores you love, and especially as the child gets bigger, that gives you a great excuse to go out and get clothes that you don't have yet for their bigger sizes as they sadly but surely grow out of their newborn zero to three, etc. Now for health and safety, the first item I have here was one of the more difficult and definitely one of the most researched things for me, and this was a video baby monitor. Again, all the videos and articles I was looking at were all based about the states or Canada, and any articles I found about ones in the UK, I felt like there was no common one that people were like, yes, we love this one. I really felt torn and wasn't sure, but I ended up going with, it's called the VTEC 5261 Video 5 Inch Baby Monitor. So I've watched videos on it and read as many reviews as possible, and this is what I came to think was the best one. So I really hope that we love it as much as other people do in the reviews. This is one item that I'm kind of going into blindly, but hopefully it works out for us. Next, again, you can really get this anywhere. This is just some saline nasal drops by the company Calpol. So we just got this at Boots. They're not difficult to find. We also got ripe water, again, from Boots. And this is good for their stomach when they get gassy. And then for a little brush and comb set, I just found this one on Amazon. It's the Tommy Tippy Essential Basics Brush and Comb Set. And currently it's only $2.95, very inexpensive. And then I also wanted to get a baby nail kit and I found one on Amazon by the company My Adier Tech but that is currently $6.99. So again, these are fairly inexpensive products and just something that I wanted to have on hand. We also do have the common, I did find it. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find it or not, but this is another product that is loved in the States and Canada, and that is the Nose Frida Baby Nasal Aspirator. So it's like the snot sucker. Basically, you put the one in in the baby's nose and then suck the snot out. Don't worry, there is a filter. You will not be getting a little snack. <laughs> and then lastly, just a forehead thermometer. This one that I found here has very good ratings as well, so we settled on that. All right, we are nearing the end. So next is nursery furniture and gear. First thing I have here is just a plastic hamper. I got this from the store called The Range, and these I just heard are great to have in the nursery because you don't want to mix up yours and baby's clothes because they're going to be using a different baby detergent, but also it's nice to have the plastic because a lot of things that you're going to be throwing in here are most likely going to be wet, so the plastic helps things not grow and just keeps it clean. Next, this is not an essential, but something that a lot of people have in their nurseries is just to have some sort of nursing chair. I ended up going with a rocking chair from Ikea. Again, the pronunciation, it's called the Poang, perhaps. I'll, again, link it down below so you can take a look at it. But Liam's dad was looking into what it was the most used in the UK, and this, I guess, was constantly popping up, and it is very comfortable. I also do have the Yuen Deluxe on my registry. It's basically Basically, if you haven't heard of it, it's kind of like a cult favorite item. It's pretty much just a little plus sheep and it makes different noises. For example, mother's heartbeat. And it'll also go a red color to mimic the mother's womb. Kids love this, I've heard. And the thing that I like about the deluxe specifically is that you're able to put it in the wash because you can take the battery pack out. So that is why I landed on the UN instead of any other sleep aid. We also just wanted a good nightlight that wasn't gonna break the bank as well. So the one that we settled on is by the company Val. It's the Vava nightlight for kids. So it has the touch control so you can touch it and turn it on and adjust the brightness and whatnot. And it also has a timer setting. This one's around 20 pounds and literally has a five star rating. Next, I just wanted to get a cheap room thermometer because there are a bunch of baby products out there that read the temperature of the room, but they're stupidly expensive for no reason. So I literally just went and looked at, it's called Thermo Pro and it is on Amazon. It's about 10 pounds and it's self-explanatory just so we know the exact temperature of the room for baby and we know how to dress them, etc. Next, we have the Halo bassinet that is behind me right by our bed. Liam and I wanted to do a co-sleep kind of deal. So have something like this by our bed for probably about six months and then put them into a crib or cot eventually. There are many different great co-sleeper options like bassinets out on the market. It's definitely pricier, but Liam and I just love the different aspects of it. It has a 360 swivel so you can put it away from you, bring it closer, etc. 
extra. If you do have a C-section, it's also very nice because you can put the bar down and take baby out. And I also just like the look of it. It is aesthetically pleasing. We also did purchase the soothing center that you can buy. It has a little nightlight on it for checking with the baby. It has a nursing timer. It plays different noises like lullabies or heartbeats. And it also has a vibration setting on it, which I hear a lot of babies love. Again, this is another investment piece. Liam and I do plan on having more kids after this one. So we know that we can put these more expensive items to good use. So for our crib or cot, we ended up going with the Tutti Bambini Modena cot bed and we got in the gray ash and white color. I really love the look of it. It goes with our nursery theme which you guys will hopefully see soon. And it was really not too expensive and it also converts to a toddler bed, as I mentioned before, so we will get lots of use out of it. I really do love this crib and it didn't look too difficult to me. I mean, I didn't put it up, but it didn't look too difficult, so that is a plus. Now for playtime, first thing that I have is this book that I found on Amazon. I heard that contrast images for babies are really good for their developmental skills when they're really young. So this is just a contrast picture soft book. So I know when they're very young babies, are probably not going to be going crazy with the toys so I thought this was an appropriate toy. For an activity gym I heard amazing things about this one. It's called the Baby Einstein 4-in-1 Kick and Tunes Music and Language Discovery Play Gym. You can use this from ages newborn and up and I love how it has the piano that they can kick at and play at. It has a mirror and a bunch of different things they can grab at and I'm so excited to use it for tummy time and seeing them explore all the little different aspects of it. We also have the Fisher Price Roaring Rainforest Jumperoo. Again, this is on Amazon and has very good reviews. It looks like something that would be super enjoyable and I heard that babies do love the Jumperoo, so hopefully our baby is one of those. Another good tip that I heard is just to keep your receipts as well because if they don't like it, you can always take it back. This is also something I heard that was great for them as they get older and start teething. So these are the Newbie Icy Bites. So you basically just put them in the fridge and they feel really good on their teeth as they're sore. These are just super cooling and relaxing to their gums. I also have the Skip Hop Silver Lining Cloud Rain Stick Rattle on my registry. Actually, one of my friends works at Babies R Us, which is just a baby store in Canada, and she had this on her registry, and I thought it was super cute, and I really liked how it was soft at both ends. So this looked like a really cute baby toy that they could get some fun out of, but was also safe. We love that. The last toy I have here is another cult favorite. It is called the Baby Banana Teething Toothbrush. So it's literally in the shape of a little banana, and has a little toothbrush and apparently the kids love them so I thought why not now we made it to our last category and this is travel so first I'll start it off with just a car seat cover especially in the time of COVID and the whole pandemic these are nice to have to just prevent people from wanting to touch your baby I've heard but then obviously they help protect from rain wind etc the other really good thing about this one that I found on Amazon that it has a dual purpose and you can use it as a nursing cover as well if you want you can probably just hanging around your neck as a little scarf. No one will know the difference. That was another inexpensive item that I thought was definitely a necessity. The next item that I have here is actually super exciting. It's by the company Free Rider, and I'm so lucky that this was actually gifted to me. They're such nice people, and it is a company that I truly believe in, being that their quality is very, very good, and they make it clear that they really care about their customers as well. On Instagram, they're very interactive with everyone. So this is something that I'm more than happy to share with you guys, and tell you about and on top of that they all have great reviews as well so basically what it is is one of those wrap baby carriers but this fabric is super soft and durable it is made from 100% tensile and is just super super breathable and mothers love it once the baby's here I'll have to do a video on how to tie these as I learn I will try to help you guys too and the nice thing is is they do give you this little booklet and it includes how to tie it as well speaking of carriers we ended up going with the baby Bajorn pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Liam is actually super excited to use this. We've heard really good things and great reviews on this product. So excited to use that when we can venture out with the baby and show them what the world looks like. Also for soothers or dummies as well, we just have the Philips Avent Soothe Bear shape pacifiers on there. Again, we only wanted to get a couple, same thing as the bottles and swaddles. You don't know what your baby will like until they get here. And then we did put these little cute soother clips on a registry as well. They're by the company Tyree Who? 
Again, they have a very high rating on Amazon and they just prevent the baby losing the pacifier because it clips onto their shirt. So if it falls out of their mouth, it just hangs and is not on the floor. I also wanted to make sure that we got a little mirror to put on the back seat so we could see them in the car seat. I found one on Amazon, five star rating. It is by the company Onco, Oncho, Pronunciation, not sure, but this product seems really good and it's currently $12.75. I also really wanted a diaper bag that wasn't too expensive, but was the backpack style because I know myself, I'm not a purse person. I've never been a purse person. I also wanted something that Liam could easily carry and something that's just not gonna hurt your shoulder. Like I grew up playing hockey my whole life. I always had that huge bag lugged around my shoulder. I know how it feels. I know people say that those bags end up hurting your shoulder or they can. So I think if we're going on a, longer trip or are going to be walking around a lot this is perfect and has these pockets here the insulated pockets and also in the back here there is a pocket that makes it accessible to the inside so you can get any of your clothes and it also comes with a portable changing mat as well again not too expensive but it will definitely come in handy so this next product is something that i'm really excited about it's the joy commuter travel cot change and bounce so this is basically the travel crib travel cot pack and play idea and it has a changing table on the top as well as a bouncer that you can take off I always hear people rave about items just like this. We'll probably keep this downstairs because we do live in a two-story house. So this will definitely make it easier when we need to put baby down and whatnot. And again, this is where that diaper caddy I mentioned earlier can come in handy because you can bring that down, change them, and all as well. You're not running around the house like a chicken with your head cut off. And lastly, we did make it to the end, everyone. This is a big ticket item that Liam and I purchased. This is actually our first purchase, but it was a travel system from mamas and papas we ended up getting it off of a different website that had a better price for it i'm not exactly sure right now what the website was called but i will link it down below so although this bundle was more expensive it was cheaper than buying these products individually which we were definitely going to so this was a smarter decision for us baby's kicking i think they like it so we ended up getting the flip xt3 bundle we were luckily able to test drive this before lockdown went into effect so we really really like this we'll see again when the baby become so far we like it a lot i really do love the look of it it's really chic and it comes with this this isn't even on properly right now don't judge me but this is called a foot muff i believe for the colder months so it's just the general stroller here but the bundle also came with this as well i have the little rain tarp over it but this looks so comfy i love the look of it it also came with this diaper bag as well which is actually like a really beautiful diaper bag it is very spacious as well i might actually use this for my hospital bag for the baby bag because it is just so spacious and it comes with a changing mat as well the bundle also came with a car seat that we currently have in the car so i'm not getting that and it has the base as well and adapters so it can go from stroller to the car easily so honestly although it was expensive i'm really happy with that purchase i know liam is too and i just can't wait till there's a baby in there okay guys well we made it we're at the end of the video i think i've been filming for like two and a half three hours so i really hope that you guys Guys, like all the recommendations that I gave I do plan on eventually doing an updated version of this once the baby is here to see what I actually do use and to see what our baby ends up loving or hating also once I am completely finished setting up our whole bedside area for baby and the nursery I would love to do a nursery tour for you guys and also show you how I've organized everything in the room so give this video a big thumbs up if you would love to see that and if I've forgotten anything or if you have any suggestions that you think would be great for other people to see make sure you comment those down below along with any other videos that you'd love to see from me also just a huge huge thank you so much to anyone who has gotten anything for us and our baby or just sent along well wishes and love no matter how far away you are you always make us feel like you're close by so a huge thank you for that it is so appreciated so again make sure you subscribe like and turn the little notification bell on so you can be notified every time i post which is every wednesday i have a bunch of videos that i'm super excited about about coming out that are a lot of work just like this one but I think are totally worth it so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet because there are a lot more exciting things coming up so thanks for watching I hope you have a great day or night whatever time it is where you're watching and I'll see you guys next time bye